and we are heading back to court. Two different places at the same time. Oh, hi! When was the last time we saw you? Indisposed. A plea bargain? Oh, I, I, sorry, I skipped all that on accident. She seems surprised. This is so confusing, even I don't, I don't even know. So we're back in session. The defense is ready, Your Honor. The prosecution is... <laughs> Whoa, that was different. Hmm? I'm afraid you'll have to clarify. It takes 30 minutes by car to reach criminal affairs from the prosecutor's office. The victim, Bruce Goodman, was slain at both places at the same time. But that's not physically possible, is it? What's more, I heard the victim from the evidence room just disappeared. This is one messed up trial. One of my duties as a prosecutor is to present impartial evidence. Today, I will pre present evidence relating to the murder at the police department, so I'm guessing that's our subject today. In doing so, I believe in which way we should proceed, which, which way we should proceed and will act. Wait, you don't mean... Wait, no, not him. Oh boy. Things are getting wild from the get-go. That sounds like something Marshall would say. Oh, hi. Will the witness please state his name and occupation? Yes, sir! I am Africa Mike Meekins, sir! My occupation is, um... That would be murder, sir! Er... So you're telling us that you're a professional killer? Sir, it was me, sir. I'm the one who did it. I'll never kill anyone again, sir. You've got to believe me, sir. Uh, actually, what we'd like to hear from you is, sir, I'm what you would call a part of a youngster gener youngster generation, sir. A person who's actually an adult possibly can't comprehend. Please, Mr. Edwards, sir, help me, sir. Officer Meekins? Yes, sir. Give us your report of the crime. Consider that in order. Yes, sir, as you wish. After all, I'm a part of a generation that must be told to do, sir. I don't even, I don't think you can call that enthusiasm, that's just, I don't even know. Smacked you awake. Interesting filming motto. So in other words, this is just a pressed every statement because we know nothing about what happened in there. And he's Mike Meekins and I see no evidence that can just like lag. Mr. Meekins, you work in the General Affairs Department, do you not? Yes, sir. I've been charged of hiring new recruits, sir. Yikes, now there's a scary thought. Evidence transfer was taken place on the day of the crime, which meant many officers were giving special tasks not ordinarily performed. I was in charge of guarding the Blue Badger, sir. The Blue... Badger? Yes, sir, the lovely police mascot created by the head detective. Gumshoes to... Oh, this music. It pierces into your soul. I see. Sounds like a very, uh, important mission. 
After the award ceremony that day, there were people running around. I really could have the blue bag. Does any- wait, I just noticed this. Any of the sentences not end with an exclamation point? Case in point. I, I have yet to see him with, end with an exclamation point. Not end. In order to enter the evidence room, you need an ID card, am I correct? Precisely, sir. I have one right here around my neck. So then, your ID number should be listed here, right? There it is! I found it! This one's- this is the one right here- oh, there we go, we had period. That's what she said. Okay. Twice? Please explain, witness. It's no real mystery, sir. The first time was when I relocated the blue badger to the evidence room. And the second time was when I went to go get him after everything settled down. Yes, sir. That was when I spotted the man on the security screen. I was only doing what I was trained to do, sir. I suddenly attacked. Hold it. Calm down. So you were attacked. Can you please tell us exactly what happened to you? I was... It was a knife, sir. A knife. Detective Goodman pulled a knife on you? What happened then? Well, with me charging on him like that, he looked as surprised as I was. He weren't exactly the kind of person someone would want to run into. That's when I reacted, sir. I swung my arm like an octopus, struggling to detain him. That's how I got this gash on my hand. When I saw the blood trickling down my arm, I panicked. Did what, exactly? Oh, wow, that's so ninja. That is so ninja right there. Like a man? I... see. In <laughs> the face. Fuck on! Punch! Goodman smash! Five thirds, so he was out for about 15 minutes. Tears of pain. That's nice. I mean, it's nice that you recovered, that is. Your mission? Well, we can rest easy now. We can all rest easy now. Yes, Your Honor. Only one thing remains unclear. Was the man in this officer murdered? Really the victim? Hmm, that's a good point. Um... Yes, Officer Meekins? With regard to that, sir... Take a look at this. It was sent to my cell. Chief Gent delivered it to me this morning, sir. The Chief? Delivered it? What is that? A videotape? Yes, sir! That's absolutely right, sir. A videotape, sir! It contains footage from the security camera in the evidence room! What? But I was specifically asked that there was such a tape, and it was told that it had been mistakenly erased. That's quite a mistake. I just do what I'm told, sir. It's the only real thing I'm good at. Looks like communication with the police department is as good as ever. Well then, let's have a look. Show us the video of you murdering the victim. Oh, please stop using that word, murder, sir. It scares me. Hmm. Huh. Take a deep breath, people. Here we go. Why is that thing in there? Hey, 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 camera, go back, go back. We need somebody to man these cameras. Hey, flag, get out of the way. Hey, he dropped something. There he goes, he's like creeping up on him. Ooh, slayish. Oh, wrestle. Oh, into the wall. The blood. Ah. Blue Badger, you prick. Move. What? What? Where'd the guy go? What? How did that happen? Uh, what? I don't even... Well, I believe we're all thinking the same thing. How can we deal with these unsettling feelings stirred within us? What the hell?
hell was that wriggling piece of plywood? Sir, that's the pride and joy of the entire criminal affairs department, sir. It's the Blue Badger, sir. Why am I not surprised this isn't going smoothly? Yes, well, anyway, this tape seems to prove that the witness did indeed encounter er, someone in the evidence room, and some sort of er, activity did take place. Your Honor, instead of relying on clearly incomplete footage, the witness's testimony will suffice. Is that all right with you, Officer Meekins? Yes, sir. As you wish, sir. <laughs> what the hell was that wriggling piece of plywood? <laughs> Mystery Man. No, because that freaking blue badger was dancing. And the flag got in the way. That's weird. I like that word, equipped. Making it sound so serious. Okay, so there's a contradiction in here, which is weird because he enters the evidence room at 5.14, opens his locker, fights Meekins, and then it winds up dead somehow. The ladder? But you were standing right in front of him, were you not? More to the point, you are the person who fought him, aren't you? Oh, yes, sir, but... I didn't get a clear look at his face, sir. I'm not the kind of guy who looks directly at people when talking with- What? You're supposed to do that. Yeah, that's a good trait for a police officer. You might be losing your badge, sir. his face can't be identified due to the freaking wriggling piece of plywood, as Edgeworth would call it. Disturbing or... Meekins! <laughs> Having been shown a questionable video at best, we are not in the best of moods. Now please be more certain when you testify. Y yes, sir. You claim that the man who bandaged, brandished the knife on you was Bruce Goodman. Tell us why you are positive it was him. Hold it. About these lockers, is there no other way to open them? No, sir. I, f I myself tried all kinds of methods in the past. They only respond to registered fingerprints, sir. <laughs> I wonder. If the man opened the locker lock, which only responds to its registered fingerprints, then we have a problem here. <clears throat> There's a very big problem with all of this. How do you know that information? I've heard rumors, sir, from people in the know, sir. People in the know. The workers in the department cafeteria, sir, they keep me informed. They also listen to my romantic troubles, sir. For the record, the open locker did receive, did indeed belong to Detective Goodman. I verified this information through a more real, real. Reliable source. Holy crap, I can't speak. Real. So it must be him. No one else could have unlocked it. Something's wrong here. Um, something in this videotape that we're gonna. I'm just gonna check this videotape again, really quick. Yeah, I thought so. Um. Press him one last time. Doom! However, the most important detail is not shown in this video. The man's face. Sir! If I may say something, sir. Please do. After all, you are the one being examined. I don't understand why the man's face is so important in this case, sir. I mean, it was his hand that opened the fingerprint lock. And it was his hand that tried to thrust the knife into my body, sir. My unsettling state can be... Can testify enough to this, sir. Yes, you have a point. The footage doesn't lie. That is, unless the defense can find a problem with it. Ooh. Is there a problem with the security video? Yeah, there was a problem. Something that's bothering me. Regarding the videotape, the video contained on this tape, there is one thing in particular that seems rather strange. Strange? This contradiction leads to the possibility that... The man may not be Detective Goodman. What? 
This video contains such a contradiction? Interesting. Your Honor, I have a proposal. Yes, Mr. Edgeworth? I propose that we have the defense point out to us this alleged contradiction in the video. He would want me to point it out. Very well, proposal accepted. Let us further inspect this piece of evidence. I will now play this, the security tape. Mr. Wright, please show us this contradiction you speak of. I have to point out a problem in the video. This is the first time I've ever had to do that. Yeah, fast forward, you can fast forward, pause, or rewind. Please don't play it too many times. I, I can't stand watching this video. How did this guy ever become a police officer? The same way poli Detective Gumshoe became a detective. Where is this thing? Um, I'm gonna fast forward a little bit, pause it, and the light. The light is the problem. The thing that's strange about this video has got to be this. Officer Meekins? Sir, do you mean me? No, the other officer. The other officer Meekin. As I understand, the lot the locker apparatus works like this. When you grab a handle, the handle. A sensor reads your fingerprints. If the print matches the registered data, the light on the lock turns on and the lock is released. Blah, blah, blah. According to my very limited experience, that's the way I understand it, sir. If so, then something is seriously wrong with this picture. Freaking... Why? microphone that I used to make fingerprints in the last episode. When the victim reaches for the handle to open the locker, let's rewind a little earlier. Here, notice the light? What's this? It's already lit! Precisely my point, Your Honor. The locker was already open before the, grip the victim grabbed the handle. Ah! Now what's this all about? What's the meaning of this? It's very simple, Your Honor. The locker wasn't locked on the day of the crime. But the locker locks are controlled by an electronic system. When a door is shut, a sensor is triggered. And the locker is automatically locked. Oh, I know. It must have been broken down. Of course, I'm not an expert on this. That's not likely, Your Honor. The sensor would detect and report any malfunction. Oh well, it would just go to show how novices should keep their mouth shut. So then, Mr. Wright, do you have an explanation? M me, Your Honor? Yes, why wasn't the locker locked? <laughs> me, Your Honor? Yes, well, you see, this isn't exactly my field. What do you think, Miss Scientific Investigator? Jammy electronic system. Say, there's something else that seems out of place in this video. Back to the video, it seems. We're gonna be doing that in the next episode. I will see you guys. Uh, do I want to keep going? Actually, yeah, I kind of want to keep. I want to keep going. Please point out the guys. Uh, gotta fast forward a lot. Zoom, 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 zoom. Right to when he. Open his locker. That right there. Take that. Please watch closely. This is the continuation of the part I showed you earlier. What's this? Something white fell out of the locker. But sir, it's been my experience that things fall out when doors are opened. I often fall out and roll a great distance when I open my car door, sir. We can't be sure that the item in the locker that that item was in the locker to begin with. What do you mean? The sensor triggers the lock when a door is shut. What if something was inserted, you say? Between the sensor and the door. In inserted? Oh, back to this video again. This white thing wasn't inside the locker. It was stuck between the door and the sensor. Oh, I understand now, sir. It's just like my tie. Two out of three times it gets stuck in the door when I get out of my patrol vehicle, sir. Instead of the door closing, my tie chokes me. But the object would have to be extremely thin to fit the door. 
Not only that, it would also be block, have to block electronic current. It would need to be an insulator. Yes, an insulator. But at the crime scene, there just might have been something that fits the description. But sir, by insulator, you don't mean... I think I finally got this figured out. Very well. Will the defense please present its relevant evidence? What was this insulator that was stuck between the locker door? Hmm. Take that! I found this near the locker. A thin rubber glove. But we can't be sure that was in the victim's locker. It has a tag on it that says, SL9 Incident. Ugh. The video seems to depict the, vid the victim opening the door, but that isn't the case. The, the lit lamp attests to this. On the day of the crime, even I could have opened that locker. Is this not so, Officer Meekins? Sir, it would appear so, sir! I like how he's tilted over. Order, order, order! So, we are to believe, then, that the victim whom this witness stabbed in the evidence room was not Detective Goodman? Do not be misled, Your Honor. What do you mean, Mr. Edgeworth? The defense has merely demonstrated that possibility and nothing more. The victim in the video was indeed Bruce Goodman. The prosecution will offer one more testimony to prove this. What? Officer Meekins, please testify about this. Sir? Uh, me, sir? No, the other Officer Meekins. Oh, you mean that, sir? Of course, sir! Is this a joke? Very well, beginning testimony in the next episode. See you guys then!